Okay, here's how to replace an electric stove. A lot of times it's a good idea to turn out both of the 220 outlets as sometimes the breakers are mislabeled. So you can see this one's been, it's not really clear which one's for the AC and the range and being that it's 220 outlets instead of 110 or 120, it's better to go ahead and turn out both of these to be safe. You can check it at your stove by turning the light on. Now it's a matter of removing the stove, taking care to be easy on the vinyl. Open the door, lift up and slide it forward. And if it has an anti-tip device on the bottom, it should slide right out of that. Once you get the back legs, you want to tip it forward a bit and, and then lift up and move it forward. That here is our giant 220 outlet. So we'll go ahead and unplug that. Get this going, get this all cleaned up here and ready for a new stove. The back of the stove here, we're going to remove the wire. If your wire is in good shape, no breaks in the insulation or anything, then you can go ahead and reuse the old wire, which is what I'm going to do here. Getting at the old wiring here, there's a couple nuts here. So I'm going to remove those. And there's usually three of them. This one appears to only have one. So, I have access to the wiring back here. And right here is where our three posts are for the 220 outlet. Now, 110 electricity uses a hot and a neutral and a ground to get you 110. The hot and the neutral, well, the hot is 110 coming in from the service panel. For a 220 outlet, you use two legs of the 110, and those connect up and make 220. So 110 plus 110 gets you 220. So. And it fluctuates, 110 fluctuates between 110 and 120, so you may hear it called 120, you may hear it called 110, and 220 and 240 fluctuates between 220 and 240, so you'll often hear it interchangeably called 220 or 240. That's the story there. For putting this on a dolly, it's better to dolly it from the side, so I'm going to turn this to the side. Now I'll just go grab my dolly and dolly this puppy out. Refrigerator dolly looks good for this. So I just want to get it under both of the feet here. on the stove and insert the dolly under both of the legs. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and rotate my strap around. And I'm just going to move this out front for now. So get this going up here and cinch down the belts a bit and tip this out, out with the old and in with the new. Okay, so here's our anti-tip bracket and you always want to make sure to use these. This prevents if someone had the door open and leaning on the door like a child or a dog or something that they don't get baked in the oven as the the oven could pretty easily tip forward on them so this bracket gets installed back here and that way the oven can't tip and the back leg slips right into this spot so what you need is a masonry bit and a drill here and it's got a template that you can use here to line up where your spot should be for the holes again this just prevents an unnecessary injury so there are holes are marked Okay, and this particular mounting bracket can either be installed in the concrete or in the drywall into the wood stud that's behind. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the second option since I don't have a masonry bit with me. If you want to make this a little bit easier, you can 
before you drill your holes. Secure our stove in there. Got my new stove dolly in here. Set it down. And now ready to rotate it a bit. Make enough room to put our cord on. Nice and easy. Check the vinyl down there. Bring you back here and let's get the cord going. This particular one has a single screw here, like a quarter inch. Then I'll remove that. It's access to our terminal block. And it looks like also quarter inch screws that hold these in. Now we're going to pass our wire through here, through the bottom. Get that already. And it looks like we'll need to pull these out all the way to feed our wires through. So. This is pretty straightforward. The middle one goes to the middle. And the two on the side go to the side. Okay, next our middle one. It's kind of funny, 220 outlets don't have a neutral. They've got two hots. Two hots and a ground. Anyway, the two hots meet up and boom, there's your power. Power. Once that's in place, we can reset our cover here and the quarter inch screw to hold that in place. And we're ready to plug it in and slide this puppy into place. Here's our giant outlet here and our giant plug and I can't quite reach yet so I'm going to have to push it back a bit. Back, some of these could be tight quarters here, which means I'm gonna have to crawl over the countertop after I'm done, but that's okay. Pretty tight squeeze here. Good boy. A little hippity hop. Try to get everything out of the way, make sure I don't knock anything over here. Here we go. Free. There we go. Okay. Now we're ready to push this back into place, and then we've got to get it underneath our anti-tip bracket back there. So that's the one little bit of a tricky spot. So we're gonna push this in so that the feet slide underneath the bracket. Nice new stove in place. And you can adjust the feet to level it how you like it. So if this is a little too low, which this actually looks pretty good, but if you wanted to raise it up, you can turn the feet just like a refrigerator. You can pull the bottom pan out and that gives you a little clearer view to the feet. And these feet just turn. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and raise the front up a little bit so that this goes to the back a little bit more. And it also has rear feet, but I'm just gonna lift the front feet up just a little bit, just to make this a little tighter, a little better. Grab my channel locks. You may need channel locks, especially the first couple turns. And once, once it's turned free, then, then it seems to rotate a little easier. And if you want to make it easier, you can lift up a little bit. Just lift up a little bit and then turn it. So. Just going to lift this up a little bit and turn it like so. Okay. And then we want it to be balanced on the other side. So same thing, and again, the first turn's usually a little tough, so it's a good idea to turn that first turn the channel locks, in, and then it frees up quite a bit. So here we go. And this side will be easier to lift now that the other side's been lifted a bit. So here we go. Now our range should tip towards the back a little bit. So there we go. One nice new range, got just a little bit of cleaning up. I got most of the tape material, packing material off already. I had to remove this tape. I'm sure that no one wants to bake with the smell of burning tape there next time they make cookies. They won't be very good cookies. So now we'll go turn our breaker on and then check this puppy out, make sure the lights turn on and make sure the elements heat up and such. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the breakers and reset those. Breakers reset. Now we can test the front light. Whoa, beautiful. And then we can go ahead and test the elements here. Make sure the indicator light comes on up top, which it does. And just make sure each of these hit up, heat up. Now, when we're placing these particular range pans, the whole element slips out like so. So you can remove the pan and the element together and then you can separate these for cleaning purposes and uh, plugging it back in. It's just as straightforward as taking it apart. You just insert the element into the socket and plug it in. So, pretty straightforward. Okay, so the other two sides heated up just nicely and make sure these ones heat up nicely and then go ahead and set our clock so let's see it's 406 so we're gonna hit clock and hold down the up button okay our elements are working nicely so I'll turn the power off and then set this to 406 here As you can see, it's got a timer and all that. 406 it is, hit clock again. Clear. And we're all set there. Now the clock is set. That's how to change out a range, install a range. You got the anti-tip bracket and good to go. Hope you subscribe and hit the like button. Save it to your favorites, all that good stuff. Helps me make more videos for you. So see you out there. Happy Friday.